All right, everyone, it's Ashley here. Welcome back. Thanks for always joining me. Uh, right now, you know, we're returning to look this time to level three of Plants vs. Zombies. We've been doing a ton of indie games, of course, and some other ones, and ones you definitely remember, like Resident Evil and Amnesia. Uh, but we also did some VR games. We did Sneaky Bears, Dead of Bared, and coming up on that is uh, Play With Me and Dread Halls, which are both scary. They're short, but scary. But for those who want something laid back and relaxed and just were always trying to get through Plants vs. Zombies, I'm going to get you through all the adventures, and then eventually I'm going to show you the survival when you get up to the abominable guy. So we're made up to level three, guys. So you ready? All right. So let's go. <laughs> this time, you know, we're getting ready to <laughs> defend <laughs> the backyard. <laughs> and, you know, I've been in this game a couple of times, but the backyard, you know, I don't put a lot of pea shooters in the middle in the pool. I only do that in the beginning of the first couple levels because when you have the uh cat open up it's a water cat that shoots these little thorns that cat is freaking awesome man because it can go everywhere so that is one of my absolute favorites for it um but for now you're gonna need some with this potato mines are yeah you can't plant them on the lily pads so you're really just kind of hurting you know doing that now, these guys, I do put sometimes in pullers if it's, like, bigger main, but, um, I do, you know, I have a pretty good set for how I do this. Your tube duckies are gonna be a, a pain in the butt, guys. They really are. Uh, but let's get going. As I said, let's rock. And my, my strategy I always did is I like to put the sunflowers here and here. The pool, if it's the low levels, you could do it in the early years on, but don't really jump on that yet because... It, it can be kind of a waste. So when you get the double sunflowers, it's going to be better to have all those cats filling up the room. So that's the how I look at it. are coming. Brains. That's right, dude. You want brains. And, you know, I try to... The pool points don't attack right away. So you have a little bit of spare time. It's not a lot. But if you need to, you can always put a lily pad with one of these guys. And that will buy you a little time. That was something I always would do. Which we may do that here in a second. And sometimes I put them about here because remember they can kind of spawn just about anywhere. So this is important to know. So let's get our sunflowers going. But yeah, if we get the double headed sunflowers, it'd be great. And eventually you get to buy more seed space. We'll have a minute with him. But I'm gonna keep him busy for a second. If I can build up some of my sunflowers. And technically, he's going to hold before they give us another one. So that buys us a little time. Because they do that in the first couple levels. Not a lot, but they do. Now, after I get him, though, I am going to want to start building up the whole part. He's a little bigger, so... We're gonna need to start getting him. It's gonna be close on him. But I'll back him up with Sunflower. I think he's got a little bit of time. Alright, so we're gonna start protecting the pool. So we have time to uh, really build that area up. We got a little bit of time as you can see. So the pool guys, like you know, they really don't jump that quickly. Yeah, the first couple levels they go easy on you generally. We can build up a little bit more now. And it's, it's best to try to keep these as tidy as you can. See? We need a little assistant. He's going to eat the lily pad, but he's a low counter. So, you know what? What the heck? Because we're all on. I got time. 
so later on they will start appearing in like kind of here. And if you can tell they show up in later places, it's okay to sacrifice. Early. Get him nice and tight. And now this is where you might as well get to see the pool cleaner. You know? Oh, we got him in time, so you didn't get to see the pool cleaner. Yeah, I normally don't put anything there. I, I normally like to put these. I normally like to have the cats, but we don't have those yet. Eat it all you want, pal. Sacrifice. The lily pads tend to come back quickly. So that's not one of the ones you're going to really panic about right away. But as you saw, they do pop up in areas like that on you. Squash zombies are really good. I like them. Uh, you can earn them faster than tomatoes. They're cheap. <laughs> It's either nine or ten slots that you can get up to. I can't remember exactly, but and eventually there's one where you can double too. Now, we're still too early to get the ones that have the max on that can take off the buckets and the helmets here, which that helps a lot. But the football players, you don't have to worry about them coming in the water. They don't. Now these guys, I, I they can. Uh, he won't. I think I can't remember if he does, but I know the football players don't. Uh, so we're gonna load up. We have an extra slot this time, so we can kind of play with more. These guys can come in handy for them. If you put them behind one of these guys, it gives them a little time for safety. So that way you can do that. When you see all of their plants, I'll show you other strategies with those as well. But let's go ahead and get started with these guys. And remember, don't jump to the pool defense right away. You can actually take a little bit of time. It's only further on that they'll get a little faster, but they normally won't jump in the pool immediately on you because the pool takes a little bit of time to build up. So they, I guess the game developers realize that. The zombies are coming. <laughs> And I eventually always love putting nuts, you know, on those. And if I could double them up or put them behind them, because that could be extra protective. But yeah, the first little little bit, they're not gonna really take you down quickly. You'll have a second to relax. Let's get a few more of these guys going. Come on, give me one more. There we go. Normally when I get four of these, then I start going after the pool. And like I said, if you think you're going to cut it on time, get the nuts down first if you have to in the pool. That'll buy you a little bit of time. Because they can chomp on those. We're gonna go ahead and start slowly building them up. Cause these guys take a little bit to recharge. Now you might as well get to see this guy in action. Hmm? It's great when they all come together at one time cause then that's the good part. buy a little time because he can eat that for a second so that'll buy you a second you know Ooh. Whoa. those little mini games can be fun we're gonna start putting these guys a little bit some people make the mistake of just putting the sunflower straight in the back row which eh, they can chew 
lot, but you gotta remember, you need some sort of defense there. And a lot of people tend to forget that. I mean, you have these guys here, but they're only one time use unless you could buy them. So then you're just kind of, you know, wasting a little bit on yourself. And the pool, you can always double up. But it'll really help when we get to the double sunflowers. So we're gonna, and we're gonna try to save him so when the football players start. And see something I can do here. Let's see here. Put him. That'll stall. Digest. So keep this in mind. Try to have, you know, backup behind him. And normally, like I said, I don't put something here, but look at this. Take two at one deal. pretty good, especially when you get them with a torch uh, stump. So you said these fireball bad boys for torch stump is great, and they can also hit three rows at once, as long as you don't plant them at the ends. If you plant them at the insides, they're only going to get two of your lanes. So keep this in mind. Now this guy's a pain in the butt. He really is. Um, he gets in the water, and he can actually avoid several things sometimes. 
but we are going to just carefully take care of them. No worries. Uh, kind of want the tomatoes because it helps with these guys. So let's get rid of him and we'll toss that on. All right. And if you can get to these faster, that's great, because they'll be really handy in the in the pool area, especially. And remember, you can always dig plants up, you know, each time you can save up for a bigger one for more expensive plants. So don't be afraid of that part. All right, so somebody's fixing the star, because normally you get about 50 suns. Coming. That's when they start to send somebody to come towards you. Make sure you always have at least a cheap fighting plant because in the beginning they're, right. they're gentle they're not bad in the beginning so it gives you a moment to save up and still defend your area man they're really sending those ones you kind of want to but at the same time all right we'll go ahead and send them yeah, since the cats can't go here, it's good that I can put those there. We're going to start going ahead and get our pool area started. Start trying to line up some defense. No problem. Get one back there. There you go. He sounds frustrated. And then once we save up enough, we'll take these guys out and make them the bigger ones. our big guys. We're going to protect them. And they're going to be very helpful. Now he can help. They, they tend to build up 
fairly quickly, but I mean, now you're going to want to protect these guys. So have like something like this because when they pop up in there toward the final wave, you know, it's good to have them there. guys don't really couple up at the end, but, well, you know what? But he still covers two rows, I can look at it from that perspective, so let's take that out and we'll use it that way. See what I got say in the coin like that? I have them ready to go. At the end, it really doesn't matter now. There we go. Now, these guys, I love them too. Um, they don't grow as fast as I, I mean, regenerate, I guess, would be the way to put it, as I would love. But, you know, you put them in and they'll take whatever creature pops up. So they're like, you know, the zucchini squash guys where. Um, so let's see here. And we don't have the big ones of these yet, because the big ones, the pulverin guys, they smack into the big ones, which is, you know, freaking awesome. Uh, so that's where it's gonna get. Like, these can be helpful, but I really want to use them in the pool for sure. Hmm. Do I want him or do I want him? All right, we'll take him. And normally when you start your pea, po your pea shooter plan, just try to wait till you see them of what edge they're hitting first, especially the beginning, because that will buy you a little time. Because if you just plant anywhere else, what if they're not hitting that row, you know, at that the minute? Zombies. We're coming. Then you're going to be a you know, little trouble. Brains. Yeah, I'm not afraid of you. Go away. You're not getting my brains. another one but we're gonna get the other two in a second pretty quickly and then we gotta get the middle after we get one more right there yep see here he comes now we got, we got enough time now and we definitely need to start protecting our middle. And those guys, also the snorkel guys, it's harder for the pea shooter to hit them. So that's a fair warning to look at. Eat that for a while, pal. Remember, it's nice to have the little bit more. 
You want to come? Sure, pal. You'll run into him. And these lily pads, although they can't really protect, you can keep them busy. You know? I'm going to mess with his head. Let him jump over so he loses his pole bowl. Because he can't hurt it. nicely built up. Half the time, you know, 
for some money. <laughs> That trunk, that's right. This is where you could buy stuff from Crazy Dave. <laughs> buy extra slots and. Uh, <laughs> yep. And these extra pool cleaners or rakes that help. There are one timers you drop down. Ooh, that's what one. He's pretty cool too. Let's see if he's got anything else in there. Not yet. Gotta build up a little more money. So when I'll be doing some of the mini games, of course. That's right. These are little ankle biters, and they can move fast. At least in this level. The zombies, zombies are coming. Now this one, it's kind of hard to make any sort of order because you know they're just coming. Just try as best you can. <laughs> <laughs> the sound they make. There you go. Give me a nice two. Uh, oh, three for one deal on that one. Sometimes you may want to save a lily pad. Got the lawnmower, the old say, but you know what? He deserves that instead. Get more of those. <laughs> I love the little sound they make. It's like it's on my Finally. Now these you probably try to save some of the other two to store the tomato tomato and uh, all the other autos. At the end, they'll come really hard on you. Yeah, 
poker players are a little bit of a pain. There we go. Didn't realize we had some money dropping. Woohoo! We got 10 for one deal. So we got the exploding there. Now they do have these neat little things you try to hit, you know, so it's... Yeah, see, they don't see him right now. They'll see him when he raises his little head. truck because it'll take him out melts his little truck paths you know his icy paths and stuff so it's something you're gonna want but if they're not showing it yet oh he is there okay um watermelons do really well in him but since we don't have those yet we're gonna need him and he does tend to run these over but you're gonna want them for your pulls still and this works well, too. The squash zombies works really good on him. Because they can make a dent on the front. Uh, yeah, we'll have to make do with that. Because I want to show you what he... Well, yeah. I want to show you what they both do, so... Alright, let's rock with that. In worst case scenario, we have to restart and put the guy in. But, uh, yeah, he mows everything down. Like, he doesn't give a crap. So you're going to want to try to save, you know, at least one or two of these. So it's good to have that built up as fast as you can. And use them sparingly. The zombies are coming. Many games you can build up your money faster. Now, for those of you that have only gotten so far and never played this before, um, you'll get to see a lot of crazy zombies, and I'll show you, you know, some things with zombies, abominables, and stuff. And fear not, we all die a couple times in this game the further we get on, because it, it does get pretty hard. It, when the abominable guys hit, I would say like in the endless, relentless ones, the survival levels. Towards the end of this too, you know, you got stockpile, especially when the guy in charge comes. Oh shit! Didn't realize that. <laughs> Had my moment. Give me some. You know, I'm gonna keep him busy for a minute. Build a turner if you can, at least with the guy with the ice machine. Because you want to have that spot to, you know, instead of him running a plane over and wasting your money, you can help it. Now, there are these little uh, spiky tracks you can lay down later. When we get to that, uh, those will be really useful. 
and those would be great to have for him. Did you really get all the way there, pal? You ate my sunflower, you little bastard. I can't believe he did that. You gotta have the hot tamale guy to melt it or it's... I don't remember if it finally does go away, but if it does, it takes freaking forever. right now in that spot, but two for price one. Might as well take it. Hey, it's going to be really insane when you get a ton of these guys at once. Alright, so we got him ready to go. Fixing to have him. Ready to take care of him. That was easy, baby. That took care of that. This is what I love. And eventually you can make him stronger too. And you can lay an extra thing on top of him. Which is freaking cool. I mean, you know. And he pops his tires. Um, so let's see here. I love him, but he does more damage than where I need him in the water sometimes. Tricky, tricky, tricky. All right. Takes longer to build him up, but he can hit more rosy ones for me. But he does freeze some down. Let's rock. Yeah, once we get some more, I think you can get two more slots. And these take a while for them to wear out, unless the ice, the ice truck guy is going over them, you know? some night levels too.
And these are great for putting in here. You can't put them on the water, though, even on lily pads, unfortunately. some tire track ones soon. <laughs> and I don't always use the same thing for every level. I base it on what creatures are coming. on the water. Let him start playing though, with the zombies. going on. Normally I don't like having double the thorn guys here, but since we're still early on... He's gonna hit just the first one. So that'll buy you a little time. Oh. 
Yeah, I can put my other one down there. And it gives a solid amount of protection. I've got a little room if I need to use my peppers. I can put them there, but I accidentally clicked one over. for these guys. guys here. Turn those fireballs through there. Oh yeah. Dolphin guy. He's another pain. Because he loves jumping over stuff like Mr. Pole Vault Man. So we're not really going to need these now for this. So we're not going to take for that. Take him. All right. And since daytime, remember, you got no choice, but you got to have a sunflower. So you might get a little sun, but it's going to take you forever if you don't have one. You brains will be bye-bye to the zombies. Now that I got two of these, zombies are going to start showing up in about three seconds. The zombies are coming. Oh, he just sounds off the way, huh? Okay, I'm up. Give me some more sun. Brains. Oh, it's giving me a little extra time. I'm impressed that it did that. That won't last forever, though. Well, at least we have six down already. There we go. Alright, I knew it wouldn't last forever. Got me a chance to get seven in. Start 
go ahead and load up down here. This is uh, our backup. protection going on. Funny, watch him smack into him. I get to laugh. Take you on a second. Don't you eat my torch. smack right into the like idiots, you know, it's great, fantastic, and they're just like, who? Now, the downside to them, though, is they take longer to regenerate versus the little ones. Um, this is where it's gonna be tricky, because we really need that other slot. Do we have enough yet to shop, I wonder? Let's take a look. Nope, we're close, though. Wow, <laughs> I meant not close to that. <laughs> so, okay. Alright, so let's reconfigure what we're gonna do here. Oh, this sort of starts to get hectic. Ah, oh, 
storage guy's good on them, too. Uh, I really want him, though. Uh, Alright, let's work with that as best we can. All I can say is just get ready to plant. And we can buy some rakes too, that so that way some levels will start them. Hopefully we'll have a little bit of time to get everything going. The zombies of course are I haven't the one that he's coming in. <sighs> Come on, two more suns. If I can get to him about right there, we'll be okay. Come on. Perfect. <laughs> those sunflowers build up as fast as you can, guys. One more, one more, come on. Almost there. Build them up, come on. Build them up. protection Rains. down for us, just in case. Because further get in, they can start a little earlier, so you never know. And I want to get these two, because they last longer, too. A lot longer than little guys. I'm looking at that for a while. up a little bit for the dolphins. He's still building up fairly quickly at least. Come on, come on, come on. Let me get him. Let me get him. Right where I want him. Perfect. area so when that guy with the you know little tractor comes along or well ice machine I should say and watch him smack into it Ta -da! gotta love it yeah I feel pretty good with the pool Let me get him a little more Safety. Yeah, I got plenty of time to build it up. Shouldn't have done it, pal. I 
try to get two weeks there in that part. I can get this for you. Eat my plan. Ugh. I can run and pretty much remember, like I said, he can run everything over, so just be forewarned. I'm going down. Then I'll start putting everything just hope to set up that. Let them eat on those for a while. I'm gonna leave this open for him. Level, level, level part of uh, level three tonight, guys. Hello, we are two having a pool party. We think that is fun. Over at the work, sincerely, the zombies. Yeah, dude, I want you in my pool. I don't think so. Nope, nope. They're they're too hard to clean, you know. So we don't need you in there. We're good. All right, it's about to get heavy. It's gonna be nuts. <laughs> Crap. Zombies Basically everything now. Coming. So I can't do anything with him right now, so there's no point putting him down yet. I want to hang on to him if I can. I'm just gonna start building my lily pads. We have the mower, so that's a good part. Let me know that. Yeah, then you give me a few shares, I don't have to waste him. That'll work. No, 
Normally I don't like put them this far back, but you know. Yeah, give them a little fire. Why not? the water protected. I could use him. Yeah, he's, he's getting a little there. He's trying. I think with this we can it's okay but Trying to save the good stuff. Check my torches. Save. Let's save one of them. Now if we can get some lily pads more of those, we can start, you know, pumping them down here. You know, don't Love another lily pad right about now. Going, so we're okay.
We'll get through it. Okay, I just they're you know, they're not my big boy type. <laughs> See what we'll do. If it still continues level three, we'll go for just a little bit long. Let's take a look so we can see if we go up to the main menu where we're at. Alright, so we did get to level four, so what's gonna happen next time we return? We're gonna do the nighttime with the pool. I'm gonna show you my tactics for that as well. So get ready guys for that. And remember, we've got a ton of more video game recordings coming up for you. And eventually I'll be doing some live streams coming up. Uh, we got Growing Up in the 1990s on TikTok, both platforms. We have nostalgic time for you. And don't forget getting you ready for Halloween. But check out all my recordings. Remember to like and subscribe. And I thank you, of course, for joining me. Until next time, guys, I will see you later.